Hello friends, welcome to An Academy. I'm Sharyu Pujari and I'm a verified educator on An Academy. You can follow me on An Academy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on some solved examples related to air pollution and its control, part one. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Do share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and this lesson on solved examples related to air pollution by Sharyu Pujari. So this is a short introduction about me. This is the link where you can follow me on an academy learning app. This is my profile and here you can find my other courses as well which are related to environmental engineering so far. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Do share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel. So friends, uh, let's uh, see the first example. But before this, please do refer my uh, previous lessons which was on introduction to air pollution. Also, which was on classification of air pollutants. So in that, we have seen the convergence for finding out the concentrations of air pollutants in the air. Right. So based on that convergence, now some examples we are going to see. This type of examples are asked in gate exam previous gate exam that's why it is very important for you because this type of examples are expected in next exams like gate IES etc government exams right so the first example we are going to see is a sample of air analyzed at 0 degree Celsius and one atmosphere pressure is reported to contain 9 ppm of CO determine equivalent CO concentration in micro ma, micrograms per meter cube and mic, uh, milligrams per cubic meter right so we have to find the co concentration in micrograms per cubic meter and milligrams per cubic meter right so they have given the co concentration or contain 9 ppm right so here temperature is 0 degree celsius in kelvin it is 273 degree kelvin and p is one atmosphere so this they have given is standard temperature and pressure so for standard temperature and pressure i have given the formula in my previous lesson that is 1 ppm is equal to m upon 22.4 into 10 raised to 3 micrograms per meter cube right so co is equal to uh, co concentration is given 9 ppm from ppm we have to convert it into micrograms per meter cube and also we have to convert this into uh, mg per meter cube right so for 1 ppm is equal to this m upon 2 to 4 uh, 22.4 into 10 raised to 3 micrograms per meter cube so first we have to calculate the m that is the molecular weight of co so 12 plus 6 is equal to 28 that is the molecular weight of co so so co concentration that is 9 ppm of co uh, concentration uh, it is it, it it will be equal to 9 into m upon 2 to 0.4 into 10 raised to 3 right so 9 into uh, molecular weight of co is 28 divided by 22.4 into 10 raised to 3 so we get our 9 ppm into 11250 micrograms per meter cube if we convert that into mg we'll get 11250 into 10 raised to minus 3 so we'll get 11.25 mg per meter cube right so this way we can calculate the uh, a given con uh, do the given convergence and calculate the correct answer right so these are our respective answers so next question we are going to see is that the mean indoor airborne chloroform CHCl3 concentration in a room was determined to be 0.4 mi micrograms per meter cube. Use the following data. T is equal to 293 Kelvin. P is equal to 1 atmosphere. R is equal to 82.05 into 10 raised to minus 6 atmosphere and it atmosphere meter cube divided by mole into k kelvin k is the kelvin atomic weight for c is equal to 12 h is equal to 1 cl is equal to 35.5 this concentration exp expressed in parts per billion is equal to this question was asked in gate 2006 option a is 1 ppb 
ऑप्शन बी इज जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो पी पी बी ऑप्शन सी इज जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो पी पी बी एंड ऑप्शन डी इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट पी पी बी राइट सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इट इन पी पी बी सो दिज आर द रिस्पेक्टिव ऑप्शन सो लेट सॉल्व सो सी एच सी एल थ्री कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज गिवन जीरो पॉइंट फोर माइक्रोग्राम्स पर मीटर क्यूब दैट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट इन टू पी पी बी राइट सो टेम्परेचर इज गिवन टू नाइन्टी थ्री and uh, a pressure is one atmosphere so it is not standard temperature pressure so the formulas i have provided in my previous lessons that they, they were for standard temperature and pressure right so here r is given that's why r is given we have to calculate the constant here because this is not standard temperature pressure example here we need to calculate the constant right here we need to calculate the constant and then we can solve the example so r they have given as 82.05 into 10 raised to minus 6 atmosphere meter cube per mole into k so for this temperature is equal to 293 kelvin and p is equal to 1 uh, constant formula we know constant is equal to 82.05 into 10 raised to 6 this is r t by p right r into t by p so uh, r we know t 293 and p is 1 so if we put all the values here that is 82.05 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 293 divided by 1 into 10 raised to 3 so we get our constant as 24.04 so we have to calculate the micrograms per meter cube into ppb right parts per billion so microgram per meter cube is equal to 24 here we are putting the value of constant not the previous value that uh, the previous value was like 22.4 right for standard temperature and pressure but here we constant we have calculated because temperature is different so that constant is 24.04 divided by m that is the molecular weight of uh, ch they have given molecular weight for ch cl3 right so that will calculate so here we get 0.4 microgram per meter cube is equal to 0.4 into constant divided by m so m is equal to uh, 12 plus 1 plus 3 into 35.5 all the molecular weights are given so we get our 119.5 so if we do that so uh, 0.4 into this constant 24.04 divided by 119.5 will get our answer in ppb that is 0.08 ppb so this uh, is in our option d so here option d is the correct option here so don't get confused if the temperature is not matching or the pressure is not matching to the standard temperature and pressure you need to first calculate the constant the constant formula is this that is r into t by p into 10 raised to 3 so after calculating the pressure uh, sorry constant or after calculating the constant just put that into our formula and from that formula we can directly get our required answer right so this were some type of examples asked on the concentration of air pollutants in the air and these are some important conversions which you need to remember and practice and practice of more questions will improve you in this section so friends please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons do share this video and subscribe our youtube channel thank you